In this video series, we will complete a Revit project in 12 easy steps. Please subscribe to our channel for future updates. We have created a room of 20 feet by 30 feet in our previous video. Now let's see how we can change the height of floors in Revit. To see our building in elevation, we will double click on the tip of the elevation marker. We can also open the elevation view from the project browser. In the elevation view, you can see our room is created between level 1 and level 2. If we click on the wall, we will see in the properties panel that the base constraint is level 1. And the top constraint is level 2. Level 1 is our ground floor and level 2 is our roof level. We can see the height of our building is 10 feet. When we click on the level 2 line, we can see a temporary dimension has appeared. Now click on the text and type in the desired height. We will make it 12 feet. We can see the height of the walls has also increased. Revit will automatically change the wall height. Now we will adjust the length of the level line by clicking on the small circle on the edge and dragging it to the desired location. To see multiple views simultaneously, click on the Views ribbon. Now click on Windows tab, and then click on the Tile Views button. Now make adjustments as desired. Drag and drop the views. Now zoom to see each view. Now our room of 12 feet in height is ready. In the next video, we will create a custom door family and add in our floor plan. What do you think about the video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.